When my mother passed away, her roommate had come home from work and found her lying on the floor unresponsive. By the time I got to the hospital, a staff member thought it was pertinent to tell me that she had been lying on the ground for hours and that it was a particularly miserable way to go, which I didn't like hearing, of course. Um, when she passed, and there's this big hole that's left and you're kind of just confused and lonely, right? So it's like, hey, that just happened. Good luck. And home you go. So the next day was a Tuesday. And I remember this because Tuesdays were plyometrics. At the time, I was following P90X religiously. And plyometrics was every Tuesday. You know, I like never missed a day. I never, I just, it's part of my coding at that point. I was just driven. Uh, but that day, I didn't feel like doing it, obviously. And I'm just sitting on the end of my bed, sad as shit not knowing what to do with myself, in the apartment by myself. And I started to really consider, what am I going to do with myself today, tomorrow? Like, how am I supposed to just proceed through life now? And it just kind of got to this conclusion where I'm going to be sad either way. I can either be sad sitting on this bed, or I can go continue my program and just fucking be sad anyway while doing it. So I chose that. And it was a bad workout. Like, I didn't do well. I remember everything. I just felt heavy. You know, like, I wasn't pushing myself. You're, you're constantly kind of collapsing. Uh, you can't really, like, I was not doing a good job of distracting myself. And it was, it was, it was bad. And do you know how I felt afterwards? Still like shit. I didn't feel great after. I wasn't like, fuck yeah, I'm glad I did. There was no endorphin release. I was still depressed as hell. Still miserable. But I held on to this concept that, when Wednesday comes, I'm still going to be depressed, sure, but I could be to be depressed and I didn't do my program or I could be depressed and at least I still continued making progress on a goal. So tomorrows keep coming and you're going to be the accumulation of what you did from your past yesterdays. So I kind of got this concept together do it the fuck anyway. And then as I became a trainer and I started working with people, eventually, invariably, you run into life. And there's always a day where someone just doesn't want to do the thing. They're sad. They're depressed. You know, they just, they're unmotivated. Whatever it is, there's that day where they emotionally do not want to do the thing. And I have empathy. But no sympathy. Because you do it anyway. And if you do it anyway, you're going to constantly progress because those challenges will not stop coming. Your life will keep having hardships. And whether you actually progress on a goal will depend on whether or not you can think beyond just your emotional moment and do something that you said you were going to keep doing or if you're going to just constantly reset your goal and keep doing it again and again and again. So you can either be on this hamster wheel where you're going to constantly go back to square one and fight and fight and fight and hope for people to pat you on the back because you're still getting at it. Or you can still actually get at it. Put aside the emotion as best as you can. And if you can't, doesn't matter. Do it anyway because you're going to be doing something. If you still choose to live, you're going to be doing something. You might as well keep progressing. So that's it. That's something I tell all my clients. It's, it permeates pretty much everything and every video you're ever going to see on this channel. Just remember, do it anyway.